In this lesson, we're going to do something that I think is pretty cool. Well, for math nerds out there who think these are cool, um, we're going to be graphing functions with no numbers. Whoa, I know. So, um, but you can graph things that don't have numbers. You just are talking about the relationship between the two values. So, for example, here we have distance and time, and we've got an increasing slope. But what does increasing mean? As time passes, the distance is increasing. Um, the middle section of this graph shows a straight line horizontally. That means that even though time is passing, distance isn't going anywhere. Distance has no change. And then a decreasing slope in this case would mean that while time is passing, distance is actually going down. So let's look at some other examples of different types of relationships. We've got two cities, one in Maine and one in Oregon. So they're on different sides of the country. They have a similar geography in terms of they're both on the coastline. This is Oregon, this is in Maine. Um, but they have some differences because of where they're located. So even though that there aren't any numbers, you can talk about what's happening in Belfast, Maine. So in Belfast, Maine, as uh, the day goes on, the temperature increases, then it hits a peak uh, about midday, it looks like, and then it starts to decline. In Oregon, the temperature starts off warm, um, then it decreases. So in the middle of the day, it's actually a little chilly right here, so it stays the same for a little bit. And then it increases slightly, um, and then the day is over. So let's put that down as our answer to letter A. Now, as we get further into this lesson, we're going to talk about the differences between the increasing and the decreasing slopes, because you can see here it's decreasing very quickly, and here it's increasing um, relatively slowly in comparison to the morning. Um, so we'll talk about that as we get further into this lesson, because all increases and decreases are not the same. I want you to pause the video and answer letter B on your own. Make three comparisons from the graph. So compare Maine to Oregon. Um, I, while you have the video paused, I'll write three things that I would put down. And if you like them, you can change yours. If you like yours, you can keep yours. All right, so check out mine. Uh, they probably match some of yours. They might not match all of yours. And when you're ready, let's move on. Unlike example one, where we had a picture and then we had to describe it, now we have a description and we have to make our own picture. So pause the video, read this little story in letter A, and then I'll help you graph it. All right, first thing we have to do is step one, which is draw the axes. So I'm going to stay in first quadrant because it makes sense because you can't have negative speed or negative time. And instead of X and Y, which I would normally label, I'm going to label it speed and time. So next I have to sketch it. In order to sketch it, I'm, I broke it down into these three parts that show what's happening to the train. So the first thing is that it's stopped and then it gains speed at a constant rate. Well, if it's stopped, then it starts at the origin. Right, because the origin is zero. And then it has a increasing linear segment. So let's start at the origin and we're going to have an increasing linear segment and just stop wherever. I stopped there, it doesn't matter. That's where my train's gonna stop. Because there's no numbers, you can have it stop wherever you want. Then it reaches its maximum speed and then travels at this speed for a while. So then it's going to reach a peak and then it's going to be um, a zero slope horizontal segment. because it's not 
um, going any faster, but it's still moving. Time is still passing. And then the final portion of the graph says that it slows down. Sorry. It slows down at a constant rate until coming to a stop. So it's coming to a stop, so it will hit the x-axis again, um, but I'm going to have a decreasing line segment um, all the way to the x-axis. That says ending. because it says it stops, and that would mean that the speed is zero. So I'm gonna go straight like that. All right, that, that's what the graph looks like. Let's do letter B together. As television size increases, the price increases at an increasing rate. So we'll talk about what that means in a second, but go with me for now. I just wanna practice making a graph. So I'm gonna have a first quadrant grid but instead of X and Y, um, I have TV size and price. And as TV size increases, so as the graph goes to the right, the price increases at an increasing rate. So here's what I have. I have a positive slope, right, an increasing line, but the extra thing here is that the slope is increasing. So it starts off, in, it's always increasing, but instead of being a constant increase, it actually starts off really slow and then increases. The slope is getting steeper and steeper. So that's just one straight line. Um, let's start off here and then start off slow, and then all of a sudden the slope gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper. And that's the line, or the graph is not a line because it's curved. All right, so speaking of increasing rate, let's fill out a chart that has all these different rates um, explained in it. So remember, rate is another way of saying slope. So all of these things are talking about the slope. So a constant rate, we know that from graphing, constant rate is linear, so it looks like a straight line. And it could be going up, it could be going across, it could be going down, but it's a linear relationship. So these are the three different types of constant rates. All right, now we've got increasing at an increasing rate, and that's what the TV was doing. So we know what the picture is supposed to look like. The picture is gonna look like this, um, but what that means is that the slope is increasing. I'm sorry, the line is increasing. And the slope gets steeper as the graph continues. So if you think back to chapter four, these had a very small slope or even a zero slope. Then we've got a, you know, an increasing slope, and then it gets really, really steep. So now I've got increasing, but now it's a decreasing rate. So it's still increasing line. And that's the tricky thing, is that how can a line increase but also decrease? Because you're talking about two different things. The line is increasing. But slope gets... Um, let's say flatter as the graph continues. So here's what it would look like. The line is starts off really sharp. So it starts off really, really fast, and then it kind of flattens out. 
So first the slope is very steep, then it turns into a horizontal slope, but the line is still going in a positive direction. See, both of these lines are kind of going in a positive direction. Now we look at decreasing, and there's two types of decreasing, just like there were two types of increasing. You can decrease at an increasing rate, and you can decrease at a decreasing rate. So the first thing is that the line is decreasing, and then the slope is increasing. So here's what that looks like. Now in order to decrease, instead of starting off at the bottom, you have to start off at the top. So I'm going to start my graph at the top, and then I'm going to make the line go in the negative direction, but the slope starts off slow and then it gets really sharp. So decreasing at an increasing rate means first the slope is flat or zero, then all of a sudden the slope gets really steep. The line is decreasing, but the slope gets steeper as the graph continues. And then the final thing is to decrease at a decreasing rate. So again, the graph starts off high at the top, um, and it then it goes down. But instead of starting off flat, it actually starts off really steep. So it starts off really steep slope and then flattens out. So steep slope in the beginning, and then the slope decreases. So the slope starts off very, very sharp, and then it flattens down to zero. The line is decreasing, but the slope gets flatter as the graph continues. Now, I don't expect you to have all these different types of uh, decreasing and increasing memorized because it's tricky to know the difference between increasing and decreasing and is line increasing or is the slope increasing. Um, but I do want you to have this chart available so that way when we do practice, you can look and you can use it um, and get better at it. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.